everybody. John Osborne here. You can follow me on StockTwits and Twitter at TraderJohnO. Let's do the educational outlook for today, May 2nd, 2017. Keep in mind that the FOMC is meeting today and tomorrow, and that will cause a little bit of a doldrum or a consolidation potentially happening between now and 2 p.m., especially for Wednesday. So keep that in mind. And also on Friday, we had non-farm payrolls coming up, which also causes the markets to be on hold until that event happens 8.30 on Friday Eastern time. So keep those in mind. Let's go back and see what happened. Uh, we can see how the the Aussie loony is breaking above this previous pivot here in the daily of 1.03328 and has come back down and retested that pivot. So let's see if it will follow through. It's looking bullish on the daily and the weekly and it's breaking, uh, breaking through this weekly line as well. For the Aussie yen, you can see how we made this move up higher, which is going good in line with what we expected. We can see the bullish pattern happen here and we're starting to have a little trouble breaking above this little bit of a pivot here. This one isn't that all that significant. The more significant one is up at 86.759. But we're also watching this trend line on the 240 up above and keeping an eye on that. We'll see, we'll see what happens if we're bouncing up off the weekly line here. And with the Swissy Yen, you can see that we were watching this trend line yesterday looking for continued consolidation in this range and sure enough look how when we broke through that line we just rocketed right up right through out of the consolidation went up and came back and did a little bit of a retest on that top of the channel break and then a continuation higher so a uh, great job of anyone who took that trade very nice um, the euro us dollar had this double breakout that we were watching and look what happened is it broke out above it and then couldn't get above the previous resistance too much, came back and retested the first line. So it's interesting to watch how things play out on the 240 there. But you can see that we are still struggling breaking above the broken weekly line. And we've got a long ways to go for the next pivot on that one. So we'll see what happens. With the dollar loony, same thing here. We are watching this break break uh, line here, this trend line. And look what happened. We broke above it a little bit, came back and retested regrouped and then ran through it with a vengeance. Uh, so quite some pretty good movements here today in the direction that we are anticipating. Now with the Aussie dollar, US dollar, you can see we broke above our daily channel or trend line here a little bit and we're still coming back and retesting that support line coming out of this pivot. So we've we've broken in, in this pennant here, we've broken above the pennant and then came back down in it. So be careful with this market because it could be uh, heading in any direction at this point. Although if I had to pick one or the other, I might be picking more bearish just because of what it, how it looks on the weekly. And even that's inside of a pennant. And with the euro pound, you can see we've broken down through this weekly and we're coming up and retesting. So let's see if we can get some movement down. We're looking bearish on the weekly and a little bit of a bearish leg on the monthly. Um, but we're still kind of consolidating after breaking through and running down to this previous low here. So let's watch what happens there. And finally, with the pound US dollar, again, we've got another trend line. You can see a move up, and we're moving up towards this recent pivot here of 1.29362. And that'll do it for today. Have a great day.